you know what to do here for the third one since you have delta of 2x yeah you'd have to uh, do substitution uh, you're gonna use substitution to relabel that so you know I would do uh, I would say let y equal 2x and then that just becomes delta of y but of course once you do that you have to you have to use substitution for the entire thing not just delta because because then dy is going to become 2 dx which means dx is dy over 2 and also x will become y over 2 you know what I mean and uh, yeah so so you want to attempt or you want me yeah. to okay Yeah, so, so, well, before you split the integral, it's looking like this. Oh, by the way, the bounds don't change because if x goes to infinity, so does y. Right. And if x goes to minus infinity, yeah. y goes to minus infinity. So the bounds don't change. There's no problem in the bounds. So then uh, x is y over 2. So we'll do the substitution minus. So c is 2 given, right? c is 2, so this becomes minus 2 uh, squared and then delta y right and then uh, dx is just dy over 2 so I'm gonna pull the half out okay now here's I think where you have to split the integral because uh, y over 2 minus 2 absolute value will equal to uh, y over 2 minus 2 if y over 2 minus 2 is greater than 0 which makes uh, y greater than 4 you agree yeah. but then this is equal to negative that so negative y over 2 plus 2 if y over 2 minus 2 is less than 0 which would make y less than 4 so you have to split the integral at 4 because to the left of 4, the function is different than to the right of 4. Okay. And so if I continue this that way, you have the integral from minus infinity, so to 4, right? And then you have this squared, right? Because it's squared, times delta y. dy okay plus one half now I'm going from 4 to infinity yeah and then I use the first function y over 2 minus 2 uh, delta y dy right now uh, what's the value of this the right integral zero because because this peak is at y equals zero and zero is not between four and infinity so this whole piece is zero okay. you agree and then what's this piece now here you, zero is between minus infinity and four so here if this is f of y you're gonna get the value of the function evaluated at zero you're gonna get f of zero right. from this so then the answer will be one half yeah so you you replace y with zero so you get zero plus two oops squared right and the other piece is zero and so you get two
questions on that here I can just get the screen so one I don't know did you get to because once once you once you split up the integral the second uh, the second piece doesn't count because because you know the peak is at zero and this interval is not is past zero it's from four to infinity 